here it is, right in the middle of the city. Today I'm at Graceland Cemetery on the north side, trying to learn some more about the 20s and 30s history. This is a class I'm definitely looking forward to. So I'm meeting Henry, who's going to show me around the cemetery. Hey, I'm Don. I'm Henry. Nice hey, to meet Henry. you. He's been around the cemetery for about 40 years. So I am so interested in the 20s and 30s history of Chicago. So I thought this would be a great spot to check some stuff out. You've picked the right place. There's a lot to learn and a lot to see. Let's do it. So I do notice that it is getting more opulent as you come into this area of the cemetery. Who do we have here? This is Frank Loudon, who was a governor of Illinois in the early 20s, but I think even more interesting, he went on to be almost the Republican candidate for president. He seems like he knows so much. He's just wisdom. So that's a pretty big tombstone. Indeed, that is one of the nicer ones here, but wait until you see where his father-in-law is buried. You're not kidding, this is huge. And it's uh, when it's so big, it's not called a tombstone, it's called a monument, huh? This is indeed a monument. This is one of the grander monuments of the cemetery. It's definitely a difference maybe of ego here. And are these seats that are all around it? These are what are called excedra. These are ceremonial places to sit when you come admire the gravestone. I feel like that's what I want. I want so that you come <laughs> and you sit and you think about me. This is a cub. This is one of the newer residents of the cemetery. He just died a couple of years ago. You know, I'm gonna get teary. Tears start falling down my face. Cubs fans, right? We, we, life, we love you. Even death, we love you, you know? So you're really celebrating a whole history of Cubs fans. She, I think, was in awe. All right, where are we off to? <laughs> I'm getting so teary-eyed. Now, uh, this is Goodman of the Goodman Theater. Uh, this was created by the Goodman family for their son, Kenneth, who died at a young age, but he was a playwright. So what they've designed here is really like the stage, like a theatrical set. That is, it's very much like a stage. So this really is an island. This is the only island in the cemetery and an exquisite spot, probably the most elegant, exquisite spot anywhere. So this is Burnham, who's a big-time architect of Chicago. Big-time architect, but also as important for his city planning, which we're still seeing the benefits of today. This is the guy. This is the he guy. He did the beauty of really the, how the city is laid out. The most important site in the cemetery isn't a big monument, it's simply a bunch of boulders. They don't all have their own Island, That's right. right. I take for granted that I get to walk on the, you know, lakefront and I get to do all this, but somebody had that vision. You know, I've driven by this place hundreds of times and I never knew what rich history is here. This is a registered arboretum. It's a beautiful place and you can learn quite a lot. There's like hubbub of the whole city and now you come here and it's just like trees and it's just peaceful. I'm glad you came and there's more to see here. I, I definitely, I will be back. It's, it's beautiful. <laughs> 